everybody, welcome back to Tavian's World of Reptiles. I hope you are all doing well and taking care of yourselves. Oh, hello beautiful. I got Artemis out today. This is my largest boa. She came to me a few years ago. She was quite obese when she came. But she has lost quite a lot of weight since then, um, and that is due to a big diet change, uh, as well as lots and lots of exercise like she is getting now. Um, she's a big girl, so she's not 100% uh, uh, happy to be active, but she definitely gets moving once she's out. Uh, takes her a little bit to pull her big heavy body around, uh, but she's definitely gotten a lot more active since I got her. At one point, she wouldn't even do anything like this. There wouldn't be any climbing. She'd just kind of stay on the ground and stay kind of wrapped around uh, and anchored somewhere without uh, too much movement. So this is a little bit of an improvement. Huh. Arty girl. Arty girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Hmm? You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Even though you got a nasty little knock on your nose because you were face rubbing. Rubbing trying to get out of your enclosure. You are still very stunning. Hmm. Ugh. Antiope, where do you think you're headed? You are out and about today. Roaming up over here. Coming in here to hang out and check out on Zeus. Huh? Zeus, are you going to come out today? I did take off your lid so that you could. You going to come out? Hmm? Antiope came to visit. Yes. Antiope came to visit you, Zeus. You do not look like you care for company. <laughs> no. I do not care for company. Yeah, you're gonna have to go somewhere else. He doesn't really want the company today. He doesn't want the company today, Antiope. Mm, you are so stunning. So strong. So strong. Amazing. So good. So good. Uh. Uh. Yeah. That's an amazing looking snake right there. Aren't you, Antiope? You are an amazing looking snake. You're going to be stunning when you are full size. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Artemis, you have not gone far. You've been about in this same space for about 20 minutes. This is what I'm talking about, though. This is why boas can quickly get very obese and overweight uh, because these animals don't move very quickly. You know, the bigger they get, they also move even slower. So, if you are feeding this animal massive amounts of food, and this animal already is a slow, naturally moving animal, it's not moving enough to burn off all the calories it's getting from that food, all the fat it's getting from that food. It's just not. They just don't move that much. So if you're going to be feeding this extremely high fatty diet, and you're not even giving them a chance or, or a workout space or even time outside of their enclosure to really even try to work it off, you quickly get massive obese boas. Now, even the most active of boas, which they're not very active boa animals. I mean, they're very slow moving. Even if they like do spend hours moving, it's like slow moving. They don't make a lot of progress, you know? So like they just don't need a whole lot of food uh, 
to burn off because they don't have a lot of, of movement. They are just so slow, they don't burn off a lot very quickly. Their metabolism is slower as well. Maybe not as slow as uh, blood pythons, but slower than like, you know, uh, a reticulated python or a carpet python. So we definitely want to be aware of that and how we're actually feeding our boas. And I definitely feel like a lot of people are overfeeding their boas, uh, especially for the level of activity that they're actually giving their boas. And that there is the problem. If you're not giving your animals uh, physical activity, if you're not giving your animals some sort of enrichment, uh, then you're really not uh, benefiting your animal. You're not benefiting your animal by feeding it so much and then not allowing it uh, the workout and the space uh, the, and the enrichment to actually utilize all the calories that you're pumping into it. Where are you going? Are you going to go somewhere? No? You don't really have a plan yet? That's cool. That's cool. Let's come back over here. Hello, Antiope. You coming in, checking in on Zeus? You seeing what he's doing in there? Huh? You seeing what he's doing in there? Guess who's down here? Who's come out, did his Roman, and went to sleep? <laughs> That's Shere Khan back there. Did you see your buddy Shere Khan back there sleeping? Huh? Did you see him? He's back there sleeping. He already did his Roman for the day. Hey, Zeus, Zeus, how you doing? Not interested. Go away. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. And Typey, doing a big, big climb. Doing a big, big climb. Oh, now we're making a little bit of progress. Slowly but surely, all of 20 minutes of being out, we have made it this far. <laughs> Slow moving species, guys. Slow moving species. Amazing, though. Amazing. Very powerful. Just look at that. That is pure muscle. That is pure muscle. I mean, she's a little soft because she's been losing a lot of weight and she's you know, a little overweight still, but not too much overweight. She still looks good, but. She's a beauty. Huh. Why are you Artemis? You are stunning. Yes, you are. Slowly going. There's a lot of people who keep boas. Um, and they keep them in this like shallower type of enclosure. Or, or tubs. This is after a certain point. If you keep and snake your boa in a tub, it becomes problematic because after a certain size, these animals need more space. People think that when these larger bodied animals get to a certain size, they stop uh, being very active where they just don't climb anymore. So you don't need to provide that for them. But that's just not true. If you provide it, Large animals are 100% still going to do what they would do in the wild, and that is climb. Uh, especially things like reticulated pythons. People are so quick, so quick to say that the large giant retics, they don't need climbing space because by the time they're as big as they are, they absolutely are not trying to climb trees. But we've seen footage. We've seen footage on Dave uh, Kaufman's channel. We've seen footage of these giant retics that are still climbing trees, that still climb trees to get out, uh, you know, to feel safe or to go hunt or for whatever the reason, you know, to, uh, to digest food or whatever. They're still climbing. They're still doing those things, even at their massive body state. And that's the problem that we have in this hobby is we seem to dumb down the level of activity of this larger bodied animal. And I think it's just because we've already gotten so used to seeing them in these small, enclosed, confined spaces that we don't want to believe that they even need that anymore. But that is not the case. We're so quick and comfortable to believe that they're just comfortable to sit there and not move because if you were to provide them with this space, 
they wouldn't move. We've been saying that for years. That if you were to provide these giant snakes with so much space, they wouldn't utilize it. They would just sit in one space forever and really not move it, so you don't need to provide them with space. I don't necessarily think that's true. I mean, I've also watched a lot of the live cam footage on um, on Brian Barczyk's channel. Like, one of the things he does is does live footage. And, you know, you have no idea how many times I've gone in there to see footage of some of those larger snakes that he has, and they're in a different position than they were last time. They're in a whole different space than they were last time, and not even just the same two spaces. They literally are in multiple different spaces of the enclosure, which tells me that those giant animals are, in fact, using the space that is being given to them. So one something I would really love to see is for us to try to get out of this mentality when it comes to large-bodied snakes and claiming that they are just inactive and less likely to utilize climbing and all that if it was provided for them. I really want to see us move away from that. I want to start seeing people with their larger snakes come out of these damn tubs that we're keeping them in, come out of these like 18 inch or whatever high enclosures that we think that's all they need because they're not going to be climbing um, with just enough space for them to curl up on one side or the other. Like that is that is really heartbreaking to me, and I want to see more. I want to see more provided, you know, right now. Artemis' tank is really set up basic, uh, but there are a few things in there that he, she can climb in on. But then also, I take her out, and I allow her to do things like this. So even if you're not going to actually provide that level of enrichment on the inside of the enclosure, you have got to at least start showing me some more providing of exercise and enrichment spaces like this, where you're providing spaces for them to come out and do that naturalistic climbing behavior if they so choose but i guarantee it if you provide it for them they will utilize it so yeah i'm not gonna keep on going on about it i just think we need to really reconsider uh how active our big snakes are and i hope that people out there who have large snakes will come across this video watch it through enough to actually hear what i have to say about it um and maybe rethink uh, some of the care that they are actually providing for their animals. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. You all take care. Love yourselves. Love your reptiles. Love your loved ones. And you all keep spreading those herbs.